Uh, just wrestling hard and wrestling free. I'm just so free in God's love, and I just, I just know it's just a sport, but I'm called to do the best I can do. I'm called to be the best I can possibly be, just because I know all these gifts and all these abilities come from God, and I'm just so grateful to be here. And, just that attitude helps you wrestle hard. No matter what the score is, just keep wrestling. And that's the way they, the coaches are in Minnesota, wrestle hard. If you're winning, losing, don't even care about the score, just wrestle hard and have fun. How's your head? I mean, it's winning. I don't know, it feels, it feels kind of open pretty good, but it's okay. So now you were able to really use your reattacks yesterday when you came from behind, and then even more so today against Sasso. What were the openings that you were seeing that allowed you to do that against multiple guys? Just pressuring and feeling them get pressuring with my hands and my head and feeling them releasing and then moving this leg back fast and before they get to the leg just running to my right side and get my shoulder in there and just run into the corner and just wrestling hard in that position. So how hard was it for you to go through a red shirt year where you were in high school and you were just kind of grinding every weekend yeah. and then now you're just sitting you're watching a lot. Was it tough? It's tough. You you want to be out there with the guys, the people you're wrestling hard with every day you want to be out there with those guys it feels kind of weird sometimes because you wrestle your whole life and you're, you've never done that ever sitting back and watching a whole year but it's a, it's a great time to learn like I'm so grateful to, for red shirting because uh, I feel like I grew so much this year do you see where you're fitting in next year in the Gopher lineup I hope to be a 149 pound national champ next year for the Gophers so now you uh in, in your match with him at the U.S. Open, he got a leg lace and kind of laced you up. He had a leg lace in that first match. Did you kind of panic there? What was kind of going through your head? Well, we worked on lace defense this past week, and uh, he go, Sammy goes after it hard. And he's got a good lace. And I was just grateful to be by the out-of-bounds line and find my head out there and then just keep wrestling and uh, just work on lace defense and get my butt up. But I knew if I could – that takes a lot of energy on his part. Even though he's scoring points, a lace takes a lot of energy if you can fight it well. So just fight in those positions as hard as you can and hopefully taking a little bit out of a guy in just every position. What was the training like getting ready for this as opposed to getting ready for the U.S. Open, especially with having Gable getting ready and the other guys getting ready to come out here too? Personally, training for me wasn't great. Uh, and that's why I'm just... I just want to give all the glory to God because last week I had the most pain I've ever had in my back. I was out for like four or five days. My back was my back was bad. I couldn't walk. I couldn't even get out of the dorm. I, I had a chiropractor come help me. I got an Uber a block away because I couldn't walk from my dorm to the practice facility. And then the week after the U.S. Open, I was sick all week. But I just believe God gave me the strength to perform at my best. And I didn't have like... I trained harder for the U.S. Open, but I just believe in God, and I believe He gives me enough strength to do what I want. So, I mean, it worked out. I mean, I wasn't on the mat as much as I like to be. I like to wrestle every day. It's what I love to do, you know. And that's a little conflicting when you have got injuries and sicknesses. So, but for the training for everybody else, it was exciting having Gable in the room. He brings a lot of excitement and. Our coaches are fun and good guys, so the training's always upbeat and fun. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, guys.